Right. right. I'm, I'm back. back. Refresh. Refresh. Mic working, working now. Sorry about that. Anyway, Josh, how are you? Let me just refresh the page. Hopefully you're back in here. Are you still there, Josh? My stupid mic. So temperamental. Now I'm very echoey. Oh, okay, I know why that is. Is that... That's better, isn't it? Yeah. It's because... Yeah, 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 don't worry. I'm getting quicker at figuring out what the issue is. It's because I accidentally... I thought I accidentally muted my mic. So then I unmuted it, but that was my other mic from my actual laptop that I un uh, unmuted. And then that's why you could hear me initially. And then I think, and then I had to, I, I realised that my actual proper mic was turned off. Dave, you're not late, mate, because I'm not usually on till two. So yeah, you really, don't worry. I haven't done anything yet. I've been, Josh tried, Josh convinced me to start a bit early. Yeah, it's Josh's fault. He said start a bit early, cause, mostly because Josh is bored. So I started a little bit early, but I've been, I've been waiting. I was on here for about eight, nine minutes before Josh come along. So you prefer earlier. Okay, fair enough. I might start doing like, say, I might do half one till, fr till like half four or something. So we can do three hours instead of two. We'll see how it goes. Yesterday was really good. We did really well yesterday. We've got quite a few people in. I've got two new followers. So hopefully I can get a few more people in. I've um, posted on my Facebook and on Twitter. I had one follower from Twitter yesterday, but it, uh, I don't know if, you should, if, if it's a real person. I think it might be a bot, but they all, you know, it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll take them all. How are we both today? Chamber time indeed. I have pre-booked the chamber. I've even pre-booked WWE Fastlane. So we got the next three pay-per-views all booked. I just need to remember to change certain things with the WrestleMania booking. Like getting rid of all the things. How's the twins, Dave? Are they alright? I have Dave. I haven't done any of the um, Raw and Smackdowns though, so you're going to have to put up with that. I bet the twins are lovely. Giggity. Um, I'll give it like five. I'll give it till two o'clock. And then I'll 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 start it because it's mostly usually you two that's mostly in here uh, uh, most of the time anyway. People come and go. Oh yeah, but I think hopefully you'll be happy with my booking of elimination chamber. Oh, for God's sake. Dave, don't make me ban you. Josh, have a word. Have a word, Josh. Come on, do your mod duties. Set him off. Not in a kinky way, are you, you saucy man? Don't make me get Josh onto you, Dave. He's like a pit bull. <laughs> for life <laughs> NWA for life yeah. new 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 world order there you go it, it's alright Dave we'll let you off as long as you like uh, jokes aside I don't mind you having a joke and shit like that as long as you don't get me in trouble on here for anything too bad oh no Jesus Christ Dave, Dave, Dave. Josh, he's not listening. I think you need to be more authoritative with what you're telling him. I want some more authority from you, Dave, uh, Josh. If you really want to be a mod, you've got you've to behave like a mod. I want you to use some strong emojis. Oh, twin dogs. Okay, fair enough. Why, what are you going to do to your dogs? 
Oh no no no, we're not gonna no 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 no. Gen Jenny Dave, getting worried now. Can we can we can we change subject now, please, mate? I'm getting a bit worried about some about what's gonna happen here. Josh, quickly, quick, tell me how to ban him. <laughs> just so I know, just in case he says anything too bad. You know this goes on bloody. Oh no, here we go. I oh, know, I oh, know. I better deny that comment, Josh, only because in case it comes up and, and in case anybody, yeah, I'm just going to deny it. I have read it, though, so don't worry. There'll be no more. I've, I've blocked the term that you just said, Josh, so hopefully that will help. But I appreciate you uh, making uh, aware, aware of it, yeah. Yeah, Dave, behave yourself or I'll put you on a timeout. Right, what time's it now? A couple more minutes. We'll uh, we'll crack on in a minute. Is there any? Uh, apparently, a AEW wrestlers are refusing to do creative that um, Tony Khan's Tony Khan's telling them. Dave, I'm not going to tell you who's going to win, am I? That'll spoil it, won't it? What's the point? Uh, I wouldn't say AEW's fallen apart at all. It's just. I would say that they haven't, like, I would say that, that the wrestlers there probably don't uh, respect Tony Khan as much as they probably respect Triple H, for instance. But I think that's more because they're a fanboy of Triple H themselves, whereas Tony Khan's a wrestling fan and they probably think he's a mark, as they call it. Yeah, but how many great pay-per-views did WWE have last year? I mean, I know they had... Good storylines, but if you if you put into context like how many great matches did WWE have last year compared to how many great matches did AEW have? The, the, the thing is with, with wrestling, you know, you can have a bit of this and a bit of that. You don't need to just like one promotion. You can like both. And I like AEW for the wrestling and I like WWE for the storylines and the characters. Britt Baker's probably injured though, Josh. You don't, we don't know what's going on. She might be pregnant. She might be pregnant. You never know. Yeah, but the reason why you think AEW was good in 2020, 2021 was because it was fresh at that point. So it was all new. We got to see wrestlers on the big screen that we've always wanted to see. And now it seems a bit samey a little bit, but I think I like AEW for what it is. I'm not saying that it's perfect, but there ain't no wrestling promotion that's perfect these days. And I think AEW has got their shit together more this year than they did last year. I think they've been really unlucky with injuries as well. MJF, MJF getting injured, Adam Cole getting injured. It kind of ruins all the the long term storylines that they're trying to do. At least they're doing long term storyline um, storytelling and stuff like that. Yeah, it was, it was, it was. But they managed to make it work in the end. They managed to do a decent payoff with it, I suppose. Because when MJF comes back, he's going to be like super babyface going against Adam Cole's crew. Yeah, Tony Storm's awesome. Sky Blue's really improved in the last 12 months as a wrestler as well. She's really good. Julia Hart's really good as well. She's really improved. No, Samoa Joe's a badass. Come on. Samoa Joe is awesome. He is he is everything that you want in a champion. You want a badass who the crowd like who the crowd can get behind. Oh, Dave, we're going to fall out at this point. Dave, do you not remember Samoa Joe from Ring of Honor? Do you not remember that Will Tart Rain he had? He was awesome then. He was awesome. He's, he's awesome everywhere he's been. I'm a big, big Samoa Joe fan. I'm really happy for him that he's champion. Yeah, but I think he's I think he's still capable in the ring. He's 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 kept up with, you know, wrestlers in there. 
but he doesn't need to be athletic in in, in now he's in it he's like a grizzled old vet and he he just needs to look like a badass and then when it's time for him to let other people other wrestlers look good he'll then put them over won't he Yeah, but world champions, well, like, I mean, who else would you have as, who else would you have as AEW world champion right now? Probably Swerve, maybe, maybe Adam Page, I suppose, but, you know, that, that, that will happen. I mean, who else is there? Jay White, yeah, but Jay White's not been pushed, has he? He's in a group, he's in a group, and they're in a mid-card feud at the moment. You can't just put, you can't just put the world title on him. Swerve's getting built up slowly. You don't want to put the title on Swerve now. It'll be too. It'll be too early. They need to build it up for a few more months. He has booked him. He has booked him badly. Yeah, I'd agree with you. But what I'm saying to you is, at the end of the day, he had an idea of what he wanted to do with Jay White, and I think Jay White will get put into the mix eventually. I can. I. I don't think Bullet Club Gold. Bullet Club Gold. I don't think they're going to be. Based Right, we're back on. My oh, flipping mic. It's driving me up the wall. It's going to put people off coming onto the stream if we keep having these issues. I need to do something about it. Are you still there, everyone? Oh, we've got five people in there now, so that's good. Alright. Dave, you still here? Can you hear me? Josh, you still here? Can you hear me? I think my mic's all right now. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, are you still there? Dave, are you there, oh, Dave? Once I get the okay from you two, I'll start the elimination chamber, but I don't want to start it just yet. Yeah, you're good. Okay. I don't know where Josh is. He's probably working, unfortunately. Oh, hold on. Somebody's wrote a big, massive message. Is it you, Dave? Oh, no, it's Josh. Sorry, Josh. Yeah, long-ass message. I think, though, AEW, the world title picture, is going to look very good. You think about it, they've got Osprey now, Kenny Omega will be back at some point, they've got Okada, MGF will be back at some point, they're pushing Wardlow, they've got Adam Page, they've got Swerve, they've got Adam Cole if they wanted to go around that route, Jay White, they're going to be fine, they've got Edge, they've got Christian, they're going to be fine, aren't they? Let's be honest. Yeah, but just because they've dropped the ball on Jay White doesn't mean they can't get it back. Yeah, so, you know, and they've got so many other wrestlers, Darby Allen, Jungle Boy when he comes back from an, uh, New Japan at some point. Yeah, Okada and Osprey will be definitely in the main events. There's no way they would he would bring in Okada and not be champion. Okada will have 
if 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 Okada could start today, Okada would already be AEW champion. He would be beating Samoa Joe. I'm always right, Dave. Remember that. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. Right then, you two. Shall I start? Shall I start the elimination chamber? Are you ready? Hopefully, no more technical issues. Because if it is, I'm going to smash my mic up live on Twitch. You're going to see me smash it up. Dave, you ready? Are the twins ready? I know. But I was paid 80 quid for this mic. I'm not bloody flipping buying another one just yet. I only just bought this one about a month ago. Right then, let's start. So we'll do this, and then we we'll do that so you can't see too much. Right, can you see what I can see? There we go. So I did, to start the Elimination Chamber, I did a four versus four match. And... Uh, um. Let me see who won. So yeah, so the uh, we did a four man, four versus four limit. You know, there's no point me telling me. You can see it on the screen. Oh, I need to get rid of. I need to get rid of Leo Rush from. Uh, hold on, can I? I oh, know, don't mind. I'll do it afterwards. Oh, that's a that's a that makes a change. Paul Heyman's actually in a good pairing for a change. But yeah. Basically, I put Happy Corbin in there. Um, he was in the winning team in the elimination match with Cody. Basically, just trying to get a few of the Bloodline members in there with Cody to advance their storyline and stuff like that, really. So AJ was eliminated first, then Kevin Owens, then Jimmy Uso, then Bobby Lashley, then Roman Reigns, then Happy Corbin, and finally Logan Paul. Did Logan Paul win then? Oh, no, I think I've ballsed up here. I think I've put Logan Paul in two matches. I will soon find out. Anyway. Right. So we had the, the, the women's elimination chamber match. Rhea Ripley won. She wins the women's title because... The, the women's title was vacant when I started this save and I only just got round to booking her to win it. Uh, yeah, so we... Uh, Becky Lynch was the final one. So it advances their storyline. Apparently Becky Lynch was really off a, a game. Uh, I did an angle afterwards where Rhea Ripley celebrates. I know. I think, um, yeah, I've got no idea why. I mean, Okada versus Nakamura only got 78 rating, so, and that was just the normal match. I didn't do anything crazy. Uh, they don't seem to click. Uh, right, next match. We had the we had a tag team we had a, uh, a, a tag team elimination chamber match. Single matches on your product need twenty minutes. I thought I did do it at twenty minutes. I so don't do it at twenty minutes. I can't go back. How many minutes was it? Oh. Oh, do you know? What? Oh, maybe I should have. Maybe I needed to. I probably didn't do it on purpose because I purposely tried to do every match at twenty minutes. Um, but then it probably didn't, probably were all right. All right, Bazinga. Nice to see you again, young man. How are you today, Bazinga? Happy Friday to us all, indeed. So, uh, the Judgment Day defeated Awesome Truth and DIY in an Elimination Chamber match. Um... They make defence number two. Everything seemed all right on this. So that's good. So we got a 69 rating for that match though. Um, so basically, the reason why Loki's in this match is because Pete Dunne was injured and I'd already pre-booked this match. 
So I kind of did a thing where Loki decided to uh, basically replace Pete Dunne. I've always wanted to go to Aberdeen. Any good, Bazinga? Have you enjoyed it there? But yeah, uh, Los Lotharios defeated Loki and Tyler Bate. They win the SmackDown Tag Team titles. So we're going to have a bit of a push for these two. Um, Loki was the weak link in this match, 54. Maybe I should have picked a better wrestler. I just wanted to put Loki in there with Tyler Bate because they're both short asses. It just made me laugh. Right, the All-Star team defeated the Kabuki Warriors when Bianca Belair and Kari Sane, oh, sorry, pinned Kari Sane with a kiss of death. Um, Bailey distracted Asuka and Kari to, call, Kari to cause them to lose. So the All-Star team win the, tag title, the women's tag titles. So there you go. The match went on a little bit too long for its aim. So that's one to remember. Let me just check. The chat. Regular. They're all regular, Josh. Other than the only match that isn't a regular normal match um, is the the last match, basically. And I don't know. I don't know if that'll go well or not. So I don't know what's happened. If I'm honest with you. Um. So we did a tag team celebration with Bianca and Jade. Only got thirty nine rating because nothing interesting happened, basically. Right, so in an exceptional match, Seth Rollins defeated CM Punk, Drew McIntyre, Sami Zayn, Jey Uso and Big E in Elimination Chamber match in 26 minutes. Um, CM Punk went first, which I was surprised about. Drew McIntyre, then Jey Uso, then Big E and finally Sami Zayn. So Seth Rollins retains his title. We advance the storyline for CM Punk and that. Uh, apparently the match was too long because of the all out, because it was too long and the all out pace, uh, yeah, so it went too long. So it only got a forty five rating. So that's my my balls up. I should have just left it as a regular match. Uh, it only got a fifty four rating. Yeah. Oh no, could have done better. Yeah, sorry about that, lads. I literally, all the matches other than the last match was regular match. 20 minutes, most of them were 20 minutes or over. Yeah, last one was 20. I know. This is what happens when I book it without you lot. <laughs> You're to blame for not being there. Roman Reigns has given me his opinion. He reckons Zoe Stark is pretty good in the ring and should push her. So I've got to try and remember that. Netflix are unhappy, which is expected. Where was Walter? Um, I didn't. I didn't think. To, I didn't have any space to book him. Basically, I could have put him in there, but I just. I, I could have put Bron Breaker in there as well, but I just chose not to. I tried to make it even so there was there was a certain amount of SmackDown and a certain amount of Raw. So I keep I'm keeping an eye on my microphone because of the cable. Just let me know if it goes off again. Hello, yeah, still fine. It was a no. It was like a a dual brand pay per view. No, no Randy Orton. I only had a certain amount of space to put people in. Yeah, I know. I know. I'll put my hands up. I fucked I messed up. I won't I won't I won't uh, deny that. Onwards and upwards though. We've got bloody fast lane in twenty days, so there you go. We've got raw tonight. Right, let's have a look at the storylines. I'm thinking uh this storyline is considered hot. Oh can you see what I can see? Yeah, you can. I think, yeah. 
No, you can't. Yeah, you can. Yeah, everyone dies indeed. Why you seem to... Oh, that's why. Sorry, lads. I just realised what happened there. Um, but it's apparently very hot. Well, it just means I've got to put them in tag team matches, and I, and then maybe at fast lane I'll put an end to the to the storyline. So let's have a look at the other storylines. Um, AJ Lee versus Ronda Rousey is considered hot. Literally all of them are considered hot, but some of them are doing better than others. None of them are bad from the looks of it. Uh, Evolution versus Judgment Day could do with a bit of a boost, I suppose. Logan Paul versus Kevin Owens has only got a 52 rating. Um, so maybe I need to do more with that, I suppose. Legrado, LWO versus Legrado is on its arse, so maybe I need to end them. I think what I need to do is on SmackDown end a lot of these storylines that are doing rubbish and then we'll think of fresh ones for the rest. Oh my god, Rhea Ripley versus Becky Lynch has only got a 41 rating. The Bloodline storyline's got an 88 rating, so that's good. Um, uh, are you joking, Josh? Oh, Carter and the Miz, are you trying to wind me up right now? <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what I'll do. I will do Okada versus The Miz and we'll see if they've got any in-ring in chemistry and then we'll figure it and then we'll decide from there, won't we? Uh, there we go. Right. First match then. Okada. Even though the Miz is a baby face, but yeah. We'll do 20 minutes. Open match. Do we script it? Do we script the match? Or do we have um do we have it scripted or in the ring or do we call it in the ring? Yeah, I'll do the I usually I do the match first and then I'll figure out an angle afterwards. Don't script match. Don't ever script match. Leave blank. Okay. Maybe that's why I copped up then. Because I keep clicking script. So maybe that's why. Right. I'll do an angle now. The mirrors. Microphone, nothing, there you go. The Miz, promo we'll call that. That's that. Okay. Um, right, let's have a look at the storylines. I'm going to uh, end, I'm going to end the Rhea Ripley, Becky Lynch storyline now. Today. Let me just check the chat. Bailey's in the story. No, why? In real life, she did, but not on the game, did she? Who won the Royal Rumble? Was it Bailey? I didn't put Bailey to win, did I? Bailey's in the storyline with Io Sky. That 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 will that's still hot at the moment. That will probably end. But at the moment, I'm trying to just keep them busy in the feud together before their big match. They haven't had a big match yet. Did she? Did she win on the game? Hold on, I need to double check, don't I? Let me just finish this bit first. End storyline. Uh, 
Right, that's that. Um, I just need to do a promo for Becky first. We'll just call this Becky Lynch promo. Right, so that's that. So that's that. Um, let me just look at if she de if she definitely did win the Royal Rumble. I think she did, didn't she? Uh, where is it? Show history. There we go. Right, where are you, Royal Rumble? Royal Rumble. Oh yeah, you are right, Josh. I stand corrected. I thought you were right anyway. I still can't believe Baron Corbin won the Men's Royal Rumble. <laughs> That still makes... Oh, I'm not a worse booker, you son of a... Dave. Don't you start getting under my skin, young man. Right, let's go back. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. Just bear with us. Oh, I can't turn bloody Seth Rollins. He's making too much money and merchandise. Fine, I'll just leave him as a baby face. Hold on there, let me just read what you're saying. Yeah, that was because of the auto booker thing. I I just did it for a laugh, didn't I? We're not counting that show. That show never happened. Okada didn't make his debut then. He made his debut at the Royal Rumble. Nobody needs to know about that one. Remember that, lads. Anyway, we've got a few more people in here. Hello, we've got six people. Yeah, Corbin's awesome. I need to change this match. Uh, right, let me just check your chat now. I know. Because it was so long ago. It was like it was literally last week. Come on, give me some credit. I don't, I'm, I'm an old man now. I can't remember everything. Right. Um, no, no, I didn't want to click on that. Uh, I don't know what I'm meant to do. Oh, yeah, I know what I'm doing now. I didn't mean to click on that. Nice. Let me just have a look, see what you put in. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Sometimes I just get carried away and just want to book dream matches though. Right, Raw, so we'll do something with AJ Lee and Ronda Rousey now. So we'll do an angle with them. AJ Lee, microphone, 
Ronda, microphone. Right, let's get a women's match on here then. Uh, who are we having? Nikki Cross, Tegan Knox, Liv Morgan, Tegan Knox, probably. No, I'm putting Natalia in there. And then we'll have. Oh, I, actually, I just thought, is uh, Shayna Baszler injured and that? Yeah, Shayna Baszler's injured. So we'll do Ronda. Why can't I pick Ronda? Oh, there we go. Ronda. Zoe. And Sonya, because she's in the four, horse, four horsewomen. There you go. Book that. Well, we'll have AJ Lee win that one. Spoiler alert, sorry. And then we'll book an angle. So we'll do Ronda. Hold on. Let me check the chat. Sorry, I'm getting carried away here. Bailey's on uh, SmackDown. Right, let me just read the messages. Don't type anything. Just give me five seconds. See on Punk Angle every row. will give you 100 Maybe for AJ and Ronda and the Punk and Tag Punk. No, because I already did AJ and Ronda in the tag match, remember? That was the last show. I don't want to do that every time. Uh, Bailey's on SmackDown. No, because we just we, we went from three hours to two hours. So I don't want to go from two hours to two and a half hours. It seems very messy then. I might change it in a minute. I might change it. Bear with us. So we do that. And then we'll do that. Sonya. Uh, AJ Lee. Selin. Liv. Uh, Natalia. So we'll just put post match beat down. Right, there you go. Post match beat down. Advance the storyline. Lovely jubbly. Book it. Let me check the chat now. You have to cut minutes as you're all over. You can always remove time preferences. So you... Okay. Um I I I I am massively over, ain't I? Right, let's get rid of any matches that don't have storylines. So, Akada and The Miz. Uh, we'll put that as a pre-match. Should we put it as a post-match? post, post match, post match, match, Josh? Okada versus The Miz or pre-show match? What do you reckon? Because if we change that, that will free up some of the room for the rest, won't it? I can't... Uh, the rest is all storyline stuff. Actually, let me just check. You're around 75% matches. So... Fine. Let me just check what you put in. They should be for bad young workers. You will have no men event there. Okay. Well, Seth Rollins versus Shinsu Shin 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 Nakamura is the main event. Uh, I'll tell you what then, we'll get rid of, hold on, let me figure out what we're going to do. What do you mean, what preferences? Remove booking times. Uh, okay, hold on then. Is this in the in-game edit? No, preferences, you said, preferences. Preferences. Right, that's that done. Ah, okay. Sorted. Sorted, everyone. Right, are we happy? Please tell me we're happy. Are we happy for me to continue? 
We've got a green, so that's a good sign. Hold on, we need to do a CM Punk promo. Jesus Christ. We forgot. CM Punk. Microphone. Drew. Microphone. CM Punk. And Drew promo battle. Right, we need to push that somewhere up here. So that's that. Uh, yeah, are we happy with that now? Yeah, they're all 20 minute matches. I think I've made sure. Hold on, let me just check. Match 23 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're all they're all 22 matches. Yeah, right. I'm I'm starting the show. So, we did freestyle angle, got a 73 rating. Ronda Rousey improvised well. And then we had the match. Uh 85 rating. That's pretty good for a six man match with women, with the women. Especially it's got Sonya Deville uh, and Liv Morgan in it. Then again, Liv Morgan is a pretty good, decent wrestler, actually, to be honest. AJ Lee pins Zoe Stark with the Shining Wizard. So who was the weak one? Zoe Stark only got a 62 rate and the rest of the women were pretty good. And then we did an angle afterwards. So got an 84 rating. I think we're much more... I think it's the pay-per-views that I tend to just falter a bit, isn't it? I need to do better with them, I think. Uh, freestyle one where we had a post-match beatdown with the baddies beating up the goodies. We did a, an angle promo battle. Only got an 86. Surprised by that. CM Punk struggled to be going off script. See, it's random. Sometimes he's fine with going off script and then other times he's not. It's really weird. Apparently, Drew McIntyre has a hot catchphrase. So that means at some point, we're going to have to turn Drew McIntyre into a baby face. Uh, the match, the tag match got a 78 rating. The weak link was Bron Breaker with a 61 rating. Drew McIntyre got a 97 rating. CM Punk got 85. Walton needs to have a better match rating. Storylines were in advance. Let me just check the chat. DM Hunk, Bill Goldberg, ringside. Yeah, so Bill Goldberg's in a stable with Happy Corbin and Bron Breaker. They are the War Dogs. Can you not remember? But yeah. So Drew McIntyre and Walter defeated them. Got a 78 rating. Probably could have done better. Promo, Becky Lynch and Rhea Ripley did well. The match did well as well. We ended the storyline here on a high. Rhea Ripley retains the title against Becky Lynch. We did an angle with The Miz, who only got a 63 rating. That's weird, isn't it? I know the story here now, but I've already I've already ended the storyline, then I just can't do nothing about it now. Yeah, I rated him on mic. Yeah, I rated him on the mic. Oh, an 82 rated. 82 rating. <laughs> Maybe there's something in what you're saying. The Miz only got a 71. I think I could put I, I can put Okada in a better with a better person than him. Maybe Seth Rollins. I know Happy Corbin's going against him, isn't he? Um so we had Seth Rollins defeat Nakamura in 20 minutes. Got a 96 rating. So that's good. How did the show do overall? 90 rating. The show increased our popularity in 56. There we go. We're back on track. We're back on track. Yeah, but Okada is going to have a small popularity in America, isn't he? Because not everybody's going to know who he is. So it does make sense. It just means I've got to try harder to get Okada over. Yeah, I'm useless at booking. I need you. I need your two help. I'm useless doing this on my own. 
it's a community effort. We, uh, as it says on my logo for Lutra FM, we lose together. So there you go. Oh yeah, Josh. You know that. Um, you know when we did that pro wrestling sim stream, um, getting quite a few views on YouTube, which I'm surprised about. So, I don't want to play it again for a while. I might play it again in say six months if they if it picks up a bit or whatever, and I can do it for a bit. It is easier to book. So yeah, go back. I've got quite a few views. Right. Let's see if there's any news worth telling you about. Oh, okay. Rio's contract is expiring with AEW. Uh, she only wants to sign for nine months, so I'll still sign it just out of spite. Uh, Raw got 20, 20 million, 20, 20 and a half million viewers. Raw got. We're in the money. We're in the money. 67 million we've got now. Um, let me see if there's any wrestlers that haven't. Right. Show them branded. Ace Austin. Uh, some of these I need to send to developmental. Who the hell's Benoit Pillion? Benoit Pillion? Who the hell's... Oh, he's a referee. Sorry. I got. I thought, what the hell's going on here? Uh, Raw. We'll send him to Raw for now. We'll send her and... Can you see this? Because it's put... Yeah, you can see it. Yeah, she can be in the Kabuki. No, she's a baby face. She's not a heel. Also, has anybody ever seen Kari Sane and Rio at the same time? I feel like they're the same person. They look very alike. How dare you? I'll never cut Loki. No, I'll cut Loki. I like Loki though. Uh, Corey Graves or Central Gore. Head not going to go to SmackDown. Jeremy. Telemo can go there. He can go there. He can go there. Lance Archer can go to Raw. We'll send Loki to Raw for now. Even though we're probably going to get rid of him. Matthew Gregg can go to SmackDown. Mauro Ranero can go to SmackDown. Michael Cole is unbranded. I forgot about that. Um, Million Dollar Man, you can go to SmackDown. Mike Kyoda, you can go to Raw. Pat McAfee. You can go to SmackDown. Peyton Royce, SmackDown. Rob, Robert Rodriguez, Raw. Tamatonga can go Raw. So can he. Tully Blanchard, Raw. You, there you go. I just need to... Hold on, let me check the chat. Sorry, lads. Uh, at the moment, Tamatonga and Tanga lower. No, no. I might do a, I might do a Bloodline Wolf Pack with um with the with the Gorillas of Destiny and Jey Uso as a babyface group. I haven't decided yet. Yeah, um, yeah. I just I forgot about the announcers. Uh, so we'll just do roll. Announcer. None. Announcer. None. Michael Cole's not there. And then we'll just go colour commentators just to make sure. We'll do... Corey Graves not too bothered about, but... None. Oh, for God's sake. I, I added an N by accident there. There we go. Done. Save. I need to send him to developmental. Good old Botchamania. Uh, none. Right. 
Is that everything, yeah? Same with referees. Oh. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Right, let's sort referees out then. This will be a bit tedious, so just feel free to talk in between while I'm doing this. What are you all having for your tea tonight? Let me know, and then I can check in a minute. What are you having? I really want a takeaway, but I think I need to be sensible. Has Bazinga got on, by the way? Is he still there? If you're still there, Bazinga, come and say hello. I know you, you come and say hello, and then, and then I think we just, like, carry on talking, and I don't want you to feel like you're not, uh, you know, part of the, part of the gang here. Right, last one. Okay, so that's that done. Right, let me just check the chat now. Had pizza last night. Oh, really, really fancy pizza. I'm having, we're having curry tonight. I'm making curry for me and my partner. We're having jal, we're having jal frazi, which is a bit too, a bit a bit hot and spicy for my liking. But she likes her curries hot, so I've, uh, I'm going to make her a nice curry. Right, should we just keep going now? Get get through to SmackDown. Um, what time is it? Quarter to three. I might just, I'm probably just going to do till four o'clock if I'm one of these lads. I'm not going to do till half all. Basically, because I've got to have a shower and make sure I don't smell for when my girlfriend gets back. And I've also got to give the flat a good clean as well. Uh, so Rio didn't want to come with us. She wants to be a freelancer. She doesn't want to be tied down. That makes me sad. Uh, should we have a look at? Should we have a look and see how NXT is doing? We haven't done that for a while, have we? Right, NXT. Uh, let's have a look at the titles. Let's see who's the champions yet. Yeah. Right, so Drew Gulak's the NXT champion still. Uh, Curtis Axel and Dragon Lee are the tag team champions. Jakara Jackson's the women's champion. Rhett Titus is the uh, cruiserweight champion. And Flamita is the North American champion. All right, can you see all this? Let me just check. Yeah, you can. No, I tried giving her a nine-month contract. No, I tried. I, I, I gave her a nine-month contract, but she still rejected it. She doesn't want to... She doesn't want to come. I'm not that bothered about Rio. There's plenty of other wrestlers in AEW that I'm going to hopefully pinch off them that are much better than... make much more of an impact than her, hopefully. Uh, right, so let's have a look at tag teams. Let's see if there's any new tag teams. Disorderly con Conduct. Um, Max the Impaler and Am uh, Amali. We've already seen that one. Let me just check you can see these. You can't see these, can you? Damn it. Okay. Two seconds. Right, there you go. Uh, 
And then I just need to move it over here, like so. There we go. Right, so nearest tag team is Max the Impaler and Amali. There's also this one, um, Medusa Complex. Oh no, they've been a tag team for a while. Uh, State of Emergency. We've brought. We've already. We've already mentioned that one before. Bro the Brotherhood of Pain. That's a good name for a tag team, isn't it? Uh, they're already the tag team champions as well. Natural Born Killers, which I think we've already mentioned before. I oh, know we haven't. Natural Born Killers is Alex Price and Demone Salvino. I think the rest is ones we've already mentioned. Yeah, we already know about these. Right, let's have a look at the... Are there any new stables? No. I don't think stables change. It's just tag teams, isn't it? They never add any stables, do they, on the AI? I don't think they do. Um, right, let's have a look at show history. Oh, there's been quite a few since last... Right, let's have a look at NXT TakeOver. So we had a couple of pre-match matches. None of them really sticking out. Um, can you see that, though? No, you can't, can you? Okay. I'll be with you in two seconds with the, so you can see it. Right, there you go. You can see that now, can't you? Yeah. Okay. Um, so the main show... Was there any standout matches? No, not really. Rep Titus defeated Ray Horus for the Cruiserweight title, which got a 77 rating, but the rest was a bit pish, wasn't it? It was a bit shat. Oh, you got this one. Uh, Sean Spears and Jason Paul defeated Gable Stevenson and Jack Evans. 81 rating. Right and then Curtis and Dragon Lee defeated the real deal for the tag titles. And uh, Drew Gulak defeated Flamita to retain the title. So let's have a look at the I'll just I won't read it all. I'll just see if there's any standout matches that are worth mentioning. Melina Perez defeated Gigi Go Dolan Dolan. Oh, and then obviously Curtis Axel and Oni Lorcan defeated Chris Hero and Rockstar Spud. That about an 80 right here. Yeah, Drew Gulak's awesome. He's very underrated. What's your next show? Uh, Smackdown. I could bring Drew Gulak up now if you want. I can just do it as like a slow thing where they bring him up slowly. But then what am I going to do with him? I'd rather wait until after WrestleMania. Because then we can start fresh then. We can start booking people. I just want to get I want to get to a point where WrestleMania is our season finale for a, a lot of the storylines that we've got at the moment. And then we can start with all new storylines and pushing people. Um, the next show they did... This one's pretty good. Corey Storm defeated Conor Miller. That got a 73 rating, which is pretty good when you think about it. Uh, there was an angle with Shawn Michaels got an 84 rating. Wesley Blake and Brian uh, Kendrick defeated the Von Erich, got a 75 rating. There was another takeover, so let's go down here, start at the beginning. Nothing major. Sean Spears and Jason Paul defeated Scripps and Joey Matthews in a ladder match, got a 71 rating. Duke Hudson and Mac Out Moss defeated only Lorcan and Mike Stone got an 82 rating. Uh Noam oh Noam Dar and Wesley Blake defeated the real deal. Natural Born Killers defeated Chris Hero and Dragon Lee. Flamita defeated Tyler Breeze for the North American title. Noam Dar and Wesley Blake defeated the Natural Born Killers. Two cuts of the Matt Cap Moss defeated Gabe Steven and, and Ray Ray Horus. And then Oh they did I think this is where they did the dust yeah, the dusty I wonder why there were so many teams doing that. So Duke Hudson and Mad Cap's Moss won the uh, Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic, defeating Wesley Blake and Noam Dar. 
And then we'll quickly look at this one. The way he defeated the Medusa complex that did well. And then that was it really. The uh, Rhett Titus defeated Dragon Lee to retain the Cruiserweight title. And then Brian Kendrick and Chris Hero defeated Noam Dar and Ray Horace. Right, let me check the chat now. Sorry about that. Right, do you want me to look at AEW or just crack on, lads? I'm going to crack on, I think, to be honest. We just concentrate on NXT every so often. And just see how they're getting on. I liked it when Brian Danielson had a bit of uh, a bit of a bit of say on WWE Creative because Drew Gulak started getting a little bit of a push, didn't he? Do you remember when he was tagging up with Brian Danielson, Daniel Bryan? Sorry, it was at the same time where um, Daniel Bryan was endorsing Chad Gable and Otis as well. It was a very weird time on SmackDown Creative. Right, so we've managed to extend Bianca Belair's contract. So just to let you know, next week, lads, I'll be doing, I'll be doing Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday next week. TEW stuff. I'm not going to bother with the FM content on Twitch on Fridays. Um, I've decided against doing the Uganda save as an online save. I might just do it as an offline save for my entertainment for a bit. I don't think it will get many people in. So. I'm going to try and stick to a schedule and uh, like set up a schedule and stick to it. But Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, hopefully from now on. Right, we've got a backstage incident involving X Pac. This can't be good. Oh, no, that's all right. X Pac lifted the locker room when he organised and then won a video game tournament. X Pac has the people's person personality and is currently happy. So there you go. Right. Uh, I need to clear this first. Reset search. I'm going to send Loki to developmental, Josh, because I know you told me that, he, that he's not very good. But I don't want to get rid of him. I ain't got the heart. I ain't got in the, in me to get rid of him. Oh, I can't get. I can't send him to developmental yet. I need to do it afterwards. Who's about fifty? Uh, Loki or Drew Gulak? Nothing to. How dare you! You leave Loki alone. I can't. I can't get rid of him now. I'll get rid of him. I'll, I'll release him after this show. I'm just winding you. All. Right. Let's have a look at the storylines. I know that we have got Bailey versus Io Sky, but I feel like we're doing a bit too. I might do Bailey versus Oscar as the main event or or one of the big matches for tonight and SmackDown. So we've got that. We've got Bianca Belair versus Jay Cargill. That's still them as tag team champions. So I might do a promo with them too. Uh, Logan Paul versus Kevin Owens. So there's a lot of storylines we need to end today because they're just not doing very well. They just weren't very good. So in fact, I'm going to end a few of these right here, right now. So we do five versus five. We do Santos. Cruz, um, what, what's his name? Yokin, I release, and then what's the other bloody storyline? Logan Paul, there you go. And then we'll do Rey Mysterio, not that Rey Mysterio. Um, oh no, I've got them. They're not meant to be in them, they're meant to be in the other one. Uh, Angel, Humberto. Uh, what's his name? Why have I just had a mind? Uh, oh yeah, Cruz. Sorry, uh, Selena, Kevin Owens. There you go. We're ending this storyline today, everyone. We're ending three storylines in this match alone. 
out with the old, in with the new. While you're while you're waiting for me to respond to your messages on chat, have a think about SmackDown feuds. Let me know. Right, let me just let me just check the chat. I need to make them good, but they're not I've been trying to make them good, but they're not they're not they're not hitting. So is it not better just to end them and just start new fuse? It's probably because Logan Paul's probably not rated he's probably rated not very good, is he? Yeah, because if you look at the storylines, let me just show you the storylines. I have actually made an effort with them. Like I said, there's been quite a lot of matches and things like that. Oh, I need to put um, Carlito and Primo in that match. I got it wrong. It wasn't Cruz or... Uh, wrong. Uh, is that it? Oh, there we go. I need to put Carlito and Primo in this one. There you go. Right, let me just check what you put. Yeah, so I have done stuff in the storylines. It's just that just it's just not hitting. I think it's best just to just to call it a day on them. But that means it means it frees up room for other storylines on SmackDown, doesn't it? So uh, also we might not. I might be doing. I think I'm doing too many storylines each brand and because each show is only two hours i think maybe it's a bit too much to do him and i think maybe i need i need to do less storylines so it gives me more time to develop the ones that i've got um right so we'll do we'll do bailey versus oscar Give it 20 minutes. Bailey the win. Open match. Uh, advanced storyline. And then after the match, we'll do an angle where Oh no, it's happened again. The glitch has happened again. Right, hold on. There we go. I need to just get rid of this now. I hate it when that happens. Right. Um, we need to do Oscar fighting. We'll do I, I O Sky fighting Harry Zane, but we won't rate her because her fighting is probably sh rubbish. Bailey, and we'll do selling eight minutes. I can't bother to put the second name, I'll just put that. And then, right, so that's that. So that'll be the post match beat down. Right, let me just check the chat. Have you used Zane yet? Not seen him. He's been in he's been in he was in the elimination chamber much. He's in he's on the raw brand, I think. Let me just have a look. So Sammy's saying I could trans I could put him over to SmackDown, couldn't I, if you want. Him and Kevin Owens as a tag team, or or shall I turn Kevin Owens heel? Maybe have Sammy Zayn. Maybe Kevin Owens turn on Sammy Zayn. But I feel like that's been done so many times. I don't think it's fresh. Right, let me just check. Yeah, Sami Zayn's on Raw. Match history. So he's had three matches. One on Raw, one at Royal Rumble. He was in the Royal Rumble match, and he was also in the Elimination Chamber match. So he hasn't done much, though. So I'll remember that. I'll start putting... Yeah, so him as a tag team with Kevin Owens. Can I, can I switch him over to Raw now? Oh, SmackDown? I probably can't do it on here. I should be able to actually. 
Oh yeah, I can. There you go. Right, let's have a Sami Zayn match. What do you reckon, Sami Zayn versus AJ Styles? That'd be a good match in real life, that would. I think they've had, they've had a few good matches before. We'll have Sami Zayn win. Open match. We'll keep AJ Styles strong though. Yeah, hopefully, if we have that to start the show, Josh, do you reckon? I think that'd be decent, wouldn't it? Um, trying to think. Cody Rhodes. We need to get Cody Rhodes. We need to get Cody Rhodes in the match and then a promo. But uh, Solo? What happened versus Solo? Cody Rhodes wins. We'll keep... Solo Sukhoi strong, open match, uh, go all the way down here, advanced storyline, and then we'll do, do a Cody Rose promo, microphone, The Rock, microphone, Roman Reigns, microphone, Paul Heyman, microphone, but we got to do him scripted, remember, Paul Heyman, from last time. You watch now, if I do him scripted, he'll moan about having a scripted promo, guarantee. See, Paul Heyman is, is unhappy. He doesn't want to be scripted. This is unbelievable. Right. Fine. Rain's not Mike. He's bad on the mic. Okay. Hold on, let me just catch up with the rest. Keeping workers strong does take away from the match rating. Does take away from the match rating. The wrestler doesn't get as much. Pop. Oh, okay. Okay, that's good to know. I did not know that. Right. So we'll get rid of that one then. Uh, let's do that. Let's get rid of this. And then, have I done that for that one? No, I've just done that as a regular. Uh, I need to, you said don't have Roman Reigns on the mic, not rated. Jimmy. Solo, there you go. Right, is John Cena available everyone? What do you reckon? We ain't seen much of John Cena, have we? You can see me. John Cena's not on here. Okay, fair enough. Where is John Cena? Ah, John Cena's not on here. Um, I need to do something quickly before I forget. I need to get Leo Rush off as... Bobby Lashley's manager. Bobby Lashley just doesn't like having managers, so we're just... None. There we go. Sorted. Right. So we'll do Bobby Lashley versus somebody then. Bobby Lashley. Male. Heel. Grayson Waller, maybe? Mm, I don't know. There's not many good heels on here. X-Pac. There we go. X-Pac. Uh, I'll leave it open. Right, let me just check everyone. Let me just check. Um, do we think that's enough? One, two, three, four. There's five matches, a couple of angles. I need to do more angles. Yeah, I need to do more angles now. 
So we do freestyle angle, X Park, microphone, Bobby Lashley, leave him not rated, eight, do that. So that's that. There. Um still need to do a bit more. Let me just check. Where is Judgment Day? Judgment Day's on Raw, um, Dave. Come on, you have a go at me for not knowing who's on where. You need to be keeping up with this. I'm, most of the wrestlers are on the brands that they are in real life. Judgment Day aren't on SmackDown. Are they? No, they're on Raw, aren't they? Yeah, they're on Raw. Right, we'll do Grayson Waller versus somebody. Oh, no, we can't do any more matches, can we? Because we've gone over. Uh, we need to do... Can we just do a generic Grayson Waller microphone? Austin Theory. Overness. We'll just do that. We'll see what happens. Probably won't work where you are, but we'll, we'll see. Let's put it somewhere over here, out the way. Ah, I want to go here. There you go, and then, and then, uh, there. That's what I was trying to do. Sorry, everyone. Right, seventy-eight. There's still. I know we won't get penalised, but I want to try and get it accurate as best as possible. So, who else have we got on the microphone? Let's have a look. Roster, search. Microphone, 90, Smackdown. James Storm, apparently. LA Knight, we could do LA Knight. Yeah, we'll do LA Knight. We'll just do a generic freestyle LA Knight. Done. Right, are we ready? I know it's took a while, but we got there. Sorry about that, everyone. Are we okay with all that? Before I crack on with it. Oh, I just dropped me flask. Ugh. Oh, that's gone bloody everywhere. Right. I'll sort that afterwards. Ugh. And I'm busting for a pee as well. I've got another 50 minutes to go yet. I don't want to get up because if I get up, the microphone's going to go off again and then I've got to stop the stream. So, right, let's start the show. Can you still hear me? Yes, you can. Okay, right. So, 89 rating for the AJ Styles Sami Zayn match. LA Knight got a 63 rating. Hmm. That's a weird one. 59 rating for that one. Hmm. The angles are going to let us down in this one, I think. Bobby Lashley defeated X Park with a spear. Got a 74 right in. Uh, the angle with A Town Down Under only got a 55 right in. But at the end of the day, sometimes you've got to make a sacrifice in the, for the long term game. Grayson Waller has a hot catchphrase. There we go, that's more like it. Freestyle angle with. The Bloodline and Cody Rhodes, everyone hit it out the park. Cody Rhodes uh, defeated Solo Sukhoi, got an 8.5 rating. Solo Sukhoi and Cody Rhodes have great chemistry, so that's good. Cody Rhodes with an in-ring performance of 100. Um, and then we did the, the five versus five match where the baddies won basically and it ended the storylines. So there you go. Got a 76 rating. Um, um, Bailey defeated Oscar. Got an 87 rating. Bailey was seething after the match, upset that Oscar almost injured her. Oh, great. Well done, Oscar. Um, 
Did a beat down afterwards, got an 80 rating. Finished the show. Got an 87 rating, which is pretty decent when you consider we had a few low numbers at the start. So that was good. 87 rating, Josh, what do you reckon? Yeah, but if I go, I can't, no, it's not necessarily, I don't mind you saying I can go to the toilet, but what I'm saying is, is at the end of the day, if I move in the slightest, the mic will go off, and then that means I've got to stop the stream, stop the recording, it's just not worth it. I've got good, I've got good bladder control, don't worry. If it, re if it gets really bad, I will, but I'm all good, I'm all good, don't worry. Yeah, so it was a good show. If I start getting a few more followers, I'll invest in a... Uh, when I get monetized, I can invest in a new mic then. <laughs> Not one that's so bloody dodgy that every single cable I use seems to break very quickly. It's the pins in the in the mic. It's dodgy. Right, so we got 19.870 million viewers of SmackDown. Yeah, I know. I know, but, you know, it is what it is. If I take it back, then I've got to then look for another Blue Yeti mic. What I'm going to do is, when my nan's house is sold, whenever that's going to be, um, my, nan's house, my nan's house has been sold, by the way. It has, it has sold. Some, an investor's buying it, but it takes up to 16 weeks for the money to hit the account. So when I get that money, I will get a brand new Blue, blue De Yeti mic. The top of my things to get. But for now, I'm just going to have to put up with it. I have got another mic, but it's not as good as the Blue Yeti, uh, Blue Yeti mic. Right, well, Jim Ross is available. I think it'd be stupid not to sign him. I have to definitely try and sign him. Uh, okay, we've got a lot of our wrestlers out. Of Hold on, shall I, instead of me telling you, let me try and see if I can show you. Oh, you can see. It's all right. I thought you couldn't see them. Yeah, Seamus, we need to get Seamus tied down to New Con. We haven't actually... I don't think Seamus has wrestled much for us. I haven't really got anything to put him in. I've got... I've got I've, I've, after WrestleMania, I probably will. Seth Rollins. Okay, Seth Rollins wants a... Creative clause in his contract. Uh, he wants a hiring veto in his... Uh, okay, let's try that. I'm, up, I'm just upping his money until he... No. What about that? Oh, for God's sake. Right, let's see if that works. Ugh, right. We're going to have to put a hiring veto in his flipping contract. Iron VO, there you go. Seth Rollins in control of who I bloody bring in now. Becky Lynch's contract's expiring. Finn Balor. Uh, AJ Styles, Jesus Christ, we better not lose any of these. Ricochet, oh my god. I know I'm not pushing Ricochet much now, but it'll be a bit of a loss if we if he goes to I would love to see Ricochet in AEW actually to be honest in real life. Sting. Should we try and hire Sting away from AEW? What do you reckon? 
Uh, he only wants to work events, okay. Imagine if we brought in Sting. Right, that's it. That's all of them there. So we might have some interesting developments there. Uh, I've used Ricochet, yeah. I've used them a few times. Um, why is it coming up like that on, on your screen? I'm looking at it now. Oh, yeah. Okay, right. If I click that, there you go. It's okay. I think Ricochet's on Raw, isn't he? So I might put him in a match today. Hopefully that'll encourage him to stay. So if we go first match to kick off the show. Rick oh, we can't. Ricochet's not on Raw. He's on SmackDown. Ah, oh, we can change that though. Because Sami Zayn's just gone to... Hold on. Ricochet should be on Raw anyway. Right, let's have a look. Right, Ricochet on SmackDown. I don't know why he's on SmackDown. Is he on SmackDown for a re Oh, he's on SmackDown for a reason, isn't he? Yeah, it's all right. He's on Raw now. Right, Ricochet. Why would he let me pick him? Oh, was this Smack? No, this is Raw, isn't it? Where's Ricochet? Hmm. Is he injured? I think he's injured. Right, let's go back to this. No, this. Absent workers. No, he's not injured. Josh? Any idea? Why can't I put... Why can't I pick Ricochet? Absent workers. Nothing, he's not on there, so he's not injured. But then when I click on this, and then click this, we do male baby faces. Oh, there he is. I don't know why it didn't come up when I was doing it before. Sorry, everyone, just ignore me. Right, heels. Walter, maybe? Oh, no, no, because I want him, to, I want Ricochet to win. We do Ludwig Kaiser. Yeah, he's on. He's on Raw now. I don't know why it didn't work when I looked at him a minute ago. Got no idea. Right. Hold on. Storylines. So we've got AJ Lee versus Ronda Rousey for on Raw. Braun versus Walter. CM Punk versus Drew McIntyre. Evolution versus Judgment Day. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll do a six man. I'll do a six person mixed tag. Um, there we go. Six person tag. And we'll do AJ Lee. CM Punk. And Braun Breaker versus uh, Ronda. Drew. Uh, Seamus. We'll have Seamus in there. Oh, no, Walter. Sorry, because they're in the storyline. Sorry, yeah. I will put Seamus in a match in a minute as well. We'll put him in there. Open match. We'll advance the storyline. Right, so there you go, that's that done. And then we'll do an angle. Um, CM Punk, microphone. Drew McIntyre, microphone. Bron Breaker, no. Uh, Walter, no. AJ Lee, 
Ronda. There we go. There is a method to my madness, I promise you. Right, so... Are you two still with me? I'm sorry. Have <laughs> I drove you both away? I hope you're still enjoying it. Um... Right, let's have a look at the storylines again. Okada versus Nakamura. So we do... Nakamura... Where are you? There you are. Fighting. Selling. And then we'll do a tag match. Actually, we'll do a four versus four elimination match. Uh, let me just check the chat. Yeah, no worries. No, it's fine, lads. Don't worry. As long as you're enjoying it, that's all that matters to me. We'll do Seamus. We'll put Seamus in here. We'll put Killian Dane in here because he hasn't wrestled. And we'll put... Alexander Wolf in there as well. Uh, advanced storyline. Uh, right, I'm just trying to figure out what to do now. Amber with Nakamura sets up their match. And we'll see on Punk sets his match. We've got Ricochet versus Ludwig Borga. Probably do another match, main event now. Look at the storylines. Let me just double check. So we've he's he's we've done something with him. We've done something with them. Done something with them. Ah, uh, Evolution versus Judgment Day. Happy Corbin versus. So we could do we do like a six man maybe no. Right, I don't know what I'll do. Uh I loves me a multi-man match. We'll just do this as a normal match, though. So we'll do Seth. And then we'll do Happy Corbin, Randy Orton, Batista versus Judgment Day, basically. So Finn Balor, Damian Priest, Dominic Mysterio, and JD McDonough. We'll do that and we'll just do open match. Scroll all the way down to here. Uh, advanced storyline. And then we'll do an angle with them all in. So eight minutes. Seth Rollins, oh, Seth Rollins, microphone, Happy Corbin, microphone, and then the rest we won't do anything with, so Damien Priest, Finn Balor, Dominic, JD, and who was the other ones? Batista, oh, Batista can be on the mic as well, Randy Orton can be on the mic, he's good on the mic. So 
but let me just check. Josh, is that is that angle right with you? Is there anybody on the microphone that shouldn't be? Should Batista be on the microphone? Just want to double check before I click continue. In fact, I'll, I'll let I'll wait for you to. Oh, no, I'll just book it and then I'll wait and wait. I can always change it. So if I put it to the end here, it still, it still gives me time. And then push this up to the main event. Push that down there. Uh, Right, I think that's all right. Let me just check everything on there. If they say over a plus then on the mic, I say, okay. I think they're, let me just check. I think Batista's pretty good on the mic in real life if he was. Microphone, 92, so yeah, it's fine. The rest should be okay. Right, I'm going to start the show now, lads. So, Ricochet defeated Kaiser, got an 80 rating. That's good. Good start to the show. The Angle with Okada and Nakamura got an 80 rating. Okada benefit from having a good groundswell of public support. So the fans are getting behind him by the looks of it. Um, we did a eight-man elimination. So we had Okada and Tozawa and Alpha Academy defeated Nakamura, Sheamus and Sanity uh, in an elimination match. Alexander Walker was eliminated first, then Killian Day, and then Nakamura, and then finally Sheamus. So it was like a, queen sw a clean sweep. Nobody on the babyface team got eliminated, so that, that was that's uh, random. Oh, I forgot to get Nikki Cross off there. Somebody remind me, please. Nikki Cross away from Sheamus. I got an 85 rating, by the way. Uh, did an angle, got a 90 rating with the usual CM Punk and Drew McIntyre with the standouts. And then we had the, the six man, mix man, mix person match, and the bad guys won. Uh, Ronda Rousey def submitted AJ Lee with an armbar. That got an 82 rating, which is pretty good. Did an angle, didn't do that well. Got a 77 rating. So, uh, and then the match got an 81 rating. Um, the good guys won. Randy Orton pinned Damian Priest with a running punt to the head. Batista was the weak link of the team. He only got a 58 rating. I think maybe I should get rid of Batista. I'll end the storyline. I think what I'll do is I'll end the, the storyline at WrestleMania uh, with Triple H coming into it for their match at WrestleMania. And then we'll call an end to that. And then we'll basically, Batista will probably retire at that point anyway. And if not, we'll just release him. Or we'll keep him as a road agent, maybe. I don't know. He might be a good road agent. Right, so that's all right. Right, so that's the end of the show. Um, got an 83 rating. Increased uh, popularity in 45 regions. So not too bad at all. Probably got enough time for one more. And then I think I'll call it a day because I think my bladder's not going to be able to handle it much more. Still done two hours, but even if I'd finished a little bit early. Yeah, it was a good show. Um, yeah, because you think about it, I did. How many minutes was the previous video? 12 minutes. So I did like 12 minutes uh, now, and I've done 1 hour and 27. So if I try and do one more show, and then call it a day. AEW vaulted there. Terms of contract for Sting. 
Same with Jim Ross. Batista um, says that Rodrigo, Rod, 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 Ricardo Rodriguez doesn't get it, so I'm going to send him to developmental. CM Punk seems to be click building, having forged an alliance between Batista and AJ Lee. Oh, there you go. Maybe I could put Batista in a stable with CM Punk and AJ Lee and have Batista as their manager. That'd be pretty good, wouldn't it? Right, no news. So no news is good news, I suppose. Forward it again. I don't hate CM Punk. I love CM Punk. He's one of my favourite ever wrestlers. How dare you? Batista and Punk don't hate each other in real life. They're good friends in real life. I don't know where you got that from. You think about it. CM, between CM Punk and Batista, the amount, the amount of women wrestlers they've they've got jiggy jiggy with, um, you know, says it all, doesn't it? Yeah, CM Punk's awesome. He's a He's like all of us. He's just a grumpy old man. We get a certain age. We don't like young people. He's just like the rest of us. We just don't. He just He just wasn't, you know, he just admitted it though. He doesn't like young people. Daniel Bryan's the same. He can't stand young people. Allegedly, apparently. I won't say he definitely. Uh, 22, 22 views now for the pro wrestling sim video that we posted. That I posted on YouTube. Picking up slowly. Right, so Seamus, Seth Rollins, AJ Styles, and Ricochet have all agreed to re sign with us. So that's good news, everyone. That's good, good, good. Right, we've got SmackDown to book now. So we want to do. Let's just check how many storylines we've got for SmackDown because I think we might have too many of these anyway, even after I got rid of them. So we've got one, two, we've got two women's storylines for SmackDown and we've got the Bloodline, Cody Rhodes. So no, actually, we can do a couple more. We could do maybe two more. So we do a tag. I think we'll do a tag title one. So who is the SmackDown tag team champions? Oh, hold on. Uh, tag team. So we could do, we could do um, Los Lotharios versus Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, or do you think that would be too much of a a stretch because they're not really completely over yet, are they? I don't know. Because I put the the tag titles on Los Lotharios now, and I don't really want them to lose straight away. In fact, I don't think I should have. Los Lotharios in a feud at the moment. I think they should just... I think what we should do with Los Lotharios is just have them win tag team title matches for a bit, build them up. Yeah, but don't have them in a feud. So what we need to do is look at tag teams. Let's just have a... Let's just add a match. Hold on. I just want to see what tag teams are on SmackDown. So if we go gender, male, heels, tag teams. So we've got A-Town Down Under... Which would probably be based similar to real life, wouldn't it? Because obviously Kevin Owens in a feud with them at the moment, and then obviously Sami Zayn could come along. We could do beer money. I'm looking. I'm thinking of beer money. Yeah. So we do beer money in a feud. Actually, let's do them in a match first, and then let's and then we can turn it into a storyline afterwards. Let's see if they actually click first. They might not be. They might not have good chemistry. So we do 
Robert Rude, James Storm. Also, I think all four of these are really good on the mic. So I think it would be good. So open match. Right, so we do an angle first with that. And we'll do... Because James Storms is apparently really good on the mic. Robert Rude's pretty good. Kevin Owens, obviously very good on the mic. Sami Zayn. I will double check to make sure all of these are good on the mic just before I, I actually go through with it afterwards. Right, roster. So, let's have a look. James Storm, I think, was all right from what I remember. Microphone 90, so he's all right. Robert Rue might be the one I'm thinking. Yeah, Robert Rude. Microphone. 86, so he can hold his own. Let's just check Sami Zayn, just on the off chance. Yeah, 86. And finally, let's check Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens, 89. So they're all good on the mic. So that's good. That's a good feud, I think, to be honest. we just got to make sure they've got good in-ring chemistry first. Beer money! I love the Beer Money theme tune. It's awesome. And alcohol. Anyway, right. Um... Right, let's do Io Sky and Asuka versus Bailey, Charlotte Flair, I think. Charlotte Flair hasn't wrestled much on here at the moment as well, so we need to probably put her in, in an angle at some point. We'll do Bailey and Charlotte to win. So we'll put that up there. Um, right, we've got Jade and Bianca. So we'll have females, heels. Uh, we've already done Billy K and that. Exclude Mickey James, maybe. Harry Zane and Mickey James, that'd be a weird tag team to try out. There you go. Uh, yeah, that's that. Oh, forgot to put the tag titles on the line. Push that up. Uh, we need to add, do we need to add an angle? Yeah, we do need to add an angle for that. So we'll just do Mickey James and Kari fighting. We won't put we won't we'll just leave that Kari is not ready because I don't think she's got very good fighting abilities. Um Bianca selling Jade will leave as that. Oh my tummy in half rumbling now, lads. Ooh. Right. Okay, I need some suggestions now because I haven't got any. Oh, the bloodline. Bloody hell. Let's get the bloodline done. Let's do the angle. The rock. Microphone. Cody. 
microphone, Paul Heyman, microphone, solo, leave him alone, Jimmy, leave him alone, Roman, leave him to it. Right, and then push that up to the top. And then we'll do tag team match. We'll do The Rock, Roman Reigns versus Cody, Rey Mysterio. Jobs are good. Uh, we'll leave the winner. And advanced storyline. Right, do that. Push that up there. Push that to the top. Hold on. Where is it? Is it this one? Yeah. Right, let me just check how many minutes we've done. 112 minutes. So, yeah, it's fine. Let me just check the chat if I haven't missed anything. Right, so shall I just start the show now, yeah? Cool. 80 the angle got, so that's good. Uh, let's see how the match did, though. 85, that's what we're talking about, everyone. So we're going to be booking them. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. 85 rating. Uh... The angle with Mickey James and Kari got a 73 rating. The match got an 81 rating. All star team. Oh, here we go. Kari Zane and Mickey James showed excellent chemistry together. Should we add them as a tag team at some point? I think we should. Maybe down the road. They need the titles in WWE. The tag titles. Who? Beer money. Yeah, eventually. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to put the title, tag titles on Los Nefarios and then they lose in their first defense. So, I want to probably build them up, and then maybe what I could do at WrestleMania, I could have, uh, like a a big tag team scramble match, um, and then Los Nefarios could lose the tag titles to. But, you know, we'll sort it out. I don't want to spoil it. We'll sort it out. We'll figure it out. Right. Um, Mickey James sustained an un undisplaced manibular fracture, whatever that means. Um, Bailey and Charlotte Flair defeated Triple Tails, which is Oscar and uh, IU Sky. Got an 83 rating. Bailey pinned IO Sky with the Bailey, ba Bailey to Bailey uh, suplex, sorry. So that's good. Lots of positive things here. Angle with the Rock and Cody Rhodes and that did really well as always. An exceptional match. The Bloodline Tribal Chiefs defeat Cody Rhodes and Rey Mysterio when Roman Reigns pinned Rey Mysterio with a spear. The Rock and Roman Reigns show an excellent chemistry together so we might need to put them in tag team matches more often. So that's good. This will probably be one of our best shows ever. There you go, 91. 91 is probably the best one we've done in a while, isn't it? What do you reckon, Josh? You're you're the historian here. Have we done a show better than 91? Yeah. See, there you go. It's all coming together. Yeah, I appreciate your help, you two. Right, let's have a look. So, Jim Ross and Sting have agreed to join us, and Becky Lynch and uh, Finn Balor have agreed to stay with us. So, there you go. 
please remind me about putting Jim Ross. Oh, well, Mickey James is injured. Smackdown got 20.56 20, 20. million viewers. Won't bother with that anymore because it's just going to be about 20 million each time. Right, so have a look at announcers. We'll do Jim Ross. 91 rating. So we've got events there and then we'll have Jim Ross with Kevin Kelly and Michael Cole on the Raw brand. Smackdown. I don't know why Corey Graves is on here. He's Oh, Corey Graves is pretty good. I remember you telling me actually. So hold on. Corey Graves. There we go. We'll leave Corey Graves there. And then Smackdown. I might just have to, I might just have JR for the events. What do you reckon? Just leave him for the events and keep him off the TV shows. Are you not using GMs? No, I haven't got any GMs, I don't think. No. I never bother doing angles with GMs. Uh, Raw TV, keep the same. Smackdown. Raw and, and Smackdown's got the same announced team. That's not good. Oh, I know why, because it's been... Yeah, so we'll have... Kevin Kelly. There you go. Or should we have Jim Ross? No, Jim Ross is better, isn't he? We'll have Jim Ross. Right, that's that, that's that saved. We've got Sting, everyone. Happy days. It's Sting! Right, I'm going to forward two more days and then I'm going to call it a day. I'm just going to see if anything comes up because, um, yeah, I can't hold my, my pee in anymore and I, I ain't got time to do another show anyway. Um, so we'll just we'll just skip these next two days, see if there's any news and then we'll save it as that. But we're doing well today. We've put quite a few shows. So I do appreciate your help, every, uh, everyone. Um, we didn't get as many newbies as possible, but I think that was mostly because of the technical issues. I think it might have put people off. But as long as I've got you two here, that's all that matters to me. My right-hand man and my left-hand man. And obviously the twins, Dave. We don't want to leave the twins out. They're my the cheerleaders. <laughs> oh, no, I've started him off. That's my fault. Jo uh, Josh, that's my fault. Don't, 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 don't ban Jet Dave. I've set him off. I'm sorry. No, I'm not doing any. I'm not doing one more show, Dave. I'm sorry. I am tired, hungry, and desperate for a wee, and I haven't got enough time. Sorry. Right, I think that's it. There was no. There was nothing significant in the news. So yeah, I'm just going to save this now. Uh, I'm going to exit in a second. But yeah, thank you, everyone. Cheers, Josh. I appreciate that. Um, cheers Dave as always I'll be back on on Monday 2 o'clock ish uh, if I do it a little bit earlier just make sure you got your emails on so right enjoy your weekend lads I'll speak to you soon bye